Three reasons you need this case. One, it looks awesome. Two, keeps your stuff nice and organized. And three, you can put stickers on it. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Ivan and I just got this Pelican case. Actually, I got it a while ago, but I was too nervous to cut into it because I didn't want to mess it up and have to buy a whole new film for it. But I finally did it and it turned out pretty good. So let's go over what would typically be in this Pelican case. And if you're interested as why you should buy one, stick around. I'll explain at the end. My main camera is the FX3. And if anything, this Pelican case is to protect this camera. I definitely spend way too much money on it and I want to have a safe space to store it when I'm traveling or even when I'm here in the studio. But I didn't cut out a spot for the top handle because one, it would take up way too much space in the case and just take up the whole thing. And two, I rarely use it outside of the studio. For talking head YouTube videos like this one, it is always on the FX3 so I can use this pod mic. Normally I would either have my Rode Mic Go or the Deity D3 Pro on it and a slot for the FX3 was cut out with the idea that I would have a lens on it. I didn't want to have to break down the FX3 every time I wanted to store it away so I made the slot to fit the body and the lens. Normally I'm going to be using the 24 to 105 since it's my main lens I work with and maybe the 24 to 70 we'll see. Hopefully I don't go crazy and buy it but hopefully I do. The a7C is my B camera and it's what I use to get things like BTS videos like when I'm on shoots, which I completely forgot to get this last one and I wanted to use some for a video. But anyways, if I needed to have an extra angle or a top down or just needed to get video of my FX3, then I have the a7C as an option. And if for any reason I want to vlog, I'll probably go with the a7C just to keep the FX3 safe. I cut out a space large enough to fit my largest monitor, the Andy Cine C7 Lite, and it's also nice because it gives me the option of putting in my smaller OSCT5. It just depends on what I need for that specific time. The nice thing about the C7 is that it is a larger monitor at 7 inch display and some of the useful features on this monitor are the ability to import LUTs, the image flip which comes in handy when recording YouTube videos. I need to flip it so that I can face myself and also be able to connect the HDMI into the FX3. And it's also really nice that it supports anamorphic just in case I go crazy and buy another lens. My OSCT5 supports most of those features as well, however it is nice that it is smaller for times when I want to go more minimal or if I want to have a monitor with my gimbal, I'll probably end up going with the T5. So in the slot, I can fit the C7 or the T5. Both my monitors, my slider, my slider remote run on these NPF batteries. So it is nice to have one location that I can put them all so they don't get lost. This was probably the worst cutout I made just because I didn't have enough room for them. And I can fit two of the larger batteries, no issues, or I can force a total of four in there since I have two smaller ones. Not perfect, but it works. I have a total of three lenses in this case. The first one is the 24 to 105, which is usually on the FX3. And then the second one is my 16 to 35, and that's usually on the A7C. I mainly use it if I want to vlog with it. And the 16 millimeters does help out a lot, especially if I want to get a wider shot of just the studio or in general, this is my lens of choice. The third lens is my APS-C 50mm that I got a few years ago for like $100. I still use it every once in a while just because it is pretty sharp and it does have the lowest f-stop out of all my lenses. And if I use it on the FX3, it gets a really tight shot. And I do have to crop in, but I believe it acts as about a 75. But I still use it on a lot of my thumbnails or if I want to focus in on something. And it being an APS-C lens, it is tiny so it was easy to plan out a little space for it and just have it in there just in case. This is the newest addition to the Pelican case. I never really needed a map box because if I was outside I was either vlogging and that just would have been silly. 
or I was getting b-roll, in which case the sun flare could add a cool little touch. But now that I've been filming more products, the footage isn't always the best when it has sun flare, even though sometimes it does add a cool little look to it. Sometimes getting the cleanest possible shot is just more important. In my previous shoot, some of my shots were ruined by too much sun glare and the matte box could have helped. So now it's in the case. It actually was a slot for my SD card, so I just modified it a little bit more, threw it in there, and now it's in there just in case I need it. These two little cube lights I got from YC Onion. They aren't the OG aperture lights that everyone has, but they're good enough for me for now. And they are really more for emergencies, just in case I need a little bit more of light on a product or if I need a color, they are full RGB, so I can get any color I need and they're plenty bright. And if I don't need the lights, I also can pull them out and I just have this little slot where I can put miscellaneous items that will fit in here. So it just doubles up. Why would I or you need to get one of these cases? First is the obvious, these are great for traveling, it keeps me organized, it keeps my items neat, and if I notice that there's an empty slot, it means that I might be forgetting something. It also keeps my gear safe, which is the most important part when traveling with expensive gear. When I'm in the office, I tend to leave gear laying around and when I want to put something together, running around looking for everything can be stressful. So now, even if I'm not planning on traveling, I can keep my gear in this case in one location, making it easier to find everything. Very similar to traveling, this case keeps my items safe, it keeps me organized, and it keeps everything neat. I've noticed that it's very popular to fill up these cases with stickers, and I love the idea of that. I used to collect pins from everywhere I travel to, which is a little harder to find nowadays, and also to keep them together because they would always fall off my bags or I would just change bags so often that some of them would end up getting lost. So now I wanna collect stickers from shoots that I go on or places that I visit, just stick them on here, just have a little fun, add a little personal touch to them. So far, I only have my Apple sticker since I am a slight fanboy of them and my Craft and Ride One Wheel Fender sticker. They were one of the first companies to actually send something over to me for free, so they made it on there. Do you put stickers on your Pelican case? Let me know down below in the comments on your way there. Maybe hit the like button, sub the channel if you like the content. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.